who would have thought back in the olden days that there would be a television that you could watch while you pumped gas? Uh, welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Remember when convenience stores tried to do away with the non-biodegradable styrofoam containers? But they're back. They're back with a vengeance. Everywhere has these things again. I don't know where I'm going with this. It's my second channel, Daily Vlog Channel. It's the Daily Woo! I have always been a bit of a thrift store and flea market junkie, and no place did I spend more time in the early to mid to late 90s than right up here. I would pull down this very road and head straight into the Osceola Flea and Farmer's Market. I think I'm gonna park right here at this dead end. Seems like a good a place as any. This used to be the sign advertising the property and now it says Western Spirit. And right over there is the last store on the premises that is currently having a going out of business sale. And also this bar has been here for ages and it is now abandoned as well. But right over there behind that fence was a massive thriving flea market that I spent pretty much every single weekend at, spending all my hard-earned dimes, nickels, quarters, and sometimes dollars. You would pass by this sign, drive right where that gate is now closed, and pull around to the nether regions, if you will, of the flea market. You would get out of your vehicle, and you would shop the countless booths and aisles. I just crashed my drone. It hit a tree, lost signal. I don't know where it is, but basically hit the branch, fell to the ground. It's somewhere on this property that I am not allowed inside of. So this should be interesting. It was very difficult to pinpoint what tree it is, but I finally found it under this tree. Check it out. The wrecked drone right there on the ground. The problem is there's barbed wire all along here. The battery fell out of it and it's sitting basically in a mud puddle on its side. And look at it, the battery power is still on, it's still juiced up. I don't know if the stick is long enough. I'm trying to get the stick down in there to try to pull it over. But my hands are like way too big to fit through this hole. I need a bigger stick. Gosh. This isn't gonna work. I cannot seem to find a break anywhere in this fence all the way around the property. Plus, there's a police officer down there. So jumping this thing onto private property, probably not the best idea. But as they say, where there's a will, there's a way. And I will get that thing. Oh yes, I will. Looks like someone has discarded their old television or computer monitor right here in the ditch. Look, that eagle is circling it's saying i think i'm gonna get myself a nice new dji phantom 4 that someone left out here get out of here bird pay no attention to that downed drone in the corner i have to find something that i can lean over the fence to try to grab that those ceiling fans will not work maybe there's something on the back side of this abandoned bar oh wait Wait a second, maybe this? And holy cow, look at this. It's like a cow or a steer or a bullhead skull. That's freaking creepy. You found me. I don't know how, but you found me. Maybe they thought I was gonna chase them down with this PVC pipe slash pool cue. <laughs> They're just driving off. Where are you going? Help me. I need your help! At first I thought it was a property owner and I was kind of scared that they were gonna be like, get off my property, you're trespassing. And then I realized it was someone that recognized my van just wanting to say hi. They screamed my name, said, Adam! I started vlogging and then they drove off. There's the drone and the battery. And this is basically what I came up with, a pool stick and a piece of PVC pipe. I'm gonna try to stick it over there and grab the drone and behind me, Less than 100 yards are a few police officers walking around. I don't know why. It has nothing to do with the property. They're looking for someone or something. Hopefully not me.
Look at this. I got it. Now the battery is going to be a little bit tougher to get to get out of there. There's no way I can get clamp onto it. See, it's very hard to get it up over that ledge right there. I have sustained a little bit of a, a wound from this endeavor. I can't get it with the equipment that I have. I cannot reach it. I cannot grab it. I cannot put my tentacles around it and pull it through the fence. I have one other idea that hopefully the Home Depot can help me out with. They have this thing called the Nifty Nabber. It's only three feet long. I don't know if that's going to be long enough, but check it out. I can grasp onto the battery perhaps. Upon further inspection, this is not gonna be long enough. Plus I went back to the chain link section and this will not fit through the chain link holes. I found something else that might possibly work. It's this long stick with this weird metal shaped hand on the end. And Home Depot sells Halloween stuff. Halloween has taken over every entrepreneurial business known to man. Look at this guy. Look at this guy here. He's a pirate skeleton. Got old Frankie chilling there and this crazy looking witch with creepy fingers. And look at this, there is a horse skeleton right here. That's kind of terrifying in its own, its own way. And we're off, we're going back over. Check see if the battery's still there and use that new tool. Cross your fingers. Still there? Oh, wait. Yep, there it is. Still down there. The problem is I can't get my hand through the chain link fence. And you can see it's just barely out of reach. But I can kind of scoop it just a little bit. I can kind of scoop underneath it, but that lip little miniature cliff right there is a little too tall to push the battery up over it. My fingers are getting mangled in the chain link. This thing needs to be about another two feet longer. There's really nothing I can like grab onto. There's nothing that the clamps can hook onto the battery and I can't get underneath it to pull it up over that lip. Ah, I kind of have an idea. I might take the original pole made out of the pool cue and the PVC and slide the battery along that little cliff, that miniature cliff, all the way down here where it's a little bit more accessible. And then I can use that weird fingery metal thing to pull it up from here. Whoa. I almost lost a stick. That would not have been good. Don't don't fall. Give me that. Give me that stick. Ah, I think I lost a stick. Crap. This is not going well. Come on. I think I'm honestly about to lose the stick now. Just hanging on by a thread, and I can't pull it close enough to where I can grab it with this chain link and this barbed wire. I just don't know how to get it over any closer. They really have secured this place down pretty good. The chain link goes way into the ground and then they got this so I can't reach my hand through. Somehow I have managed to grab the pole and lean it up against here. So I think I might have the pole back in my possession. Look at this. It took an incredible amount of time, but I have moved it from all the way down there to right there. Look, it is within view, and that little section, that little incline, is not as steep here as it was down there. <laughs> you will be mine. Oh yes, you will be mine.
<laughs> Success. Persistence pays off, my friends. That was an undertaking, but success. Got a little dirt all inside them, but all in all, I'm pretty happy to have these guys back. Welcome back, fellas. I got a lot of cuts and scratches all over my arms. Luckily, I have these bottles of water I can like get cleaned up a little bit, but I got another scratch here, one on the hand, one on this hand, one here. Look at that, I probably need to like Put some kind of medicine on there and get that dirt out of there before infection starts to rear its ugly head. But all in all, quite the adventure, I must say. I had my doubts about getting that battery, but yeah. And now to return what I borrowed. Thank you, pool cue and PVC pipe connected together. You served me well. Oh, yes. You served me well. What happens when you crash the drone is the micro SD card that's in there gets corrupt and you can't download the file. So I'm filming the footage off my phone, off the DJI app on my DSLR, and then I'll drop this footage in the vlog. But you can see I was just careening above the flea market. This is the only way I can show it to you. So let's skim along and get to the, get to the part where I hit the tree. You can see the proximity of the crossroads there where the flea market used to be. Everything was going well until I was gonna get a really cool shot from here and I started to tilt it to the left and then over to the right and then the tree. Bam. And then I thought I was in the clear. Nope. Pretty majestic cloud back there. Billowing in the heavens. Man, I love Florida clouds. I do not like Florida rain and thunderstorms and humidity, but the aesthetic of the sky is always wonderful. There it is, right there. The old flea market. A lot of memories from my youth there. And now, a memory from my adulthood. That was quite a day. Log over.